हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू रिमेम्बर मी इट हैज बीन सो मेनी डेज हमने कुछ डिस्कस नहीं किया इकोनॉमिक्स के बारे में लाओ टुडे द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज स्टैग फ्लेशन ना वाई एम डिस्कसिंग दिस टॉपिक लॉजिक इज ना रिसेंटली फ्यू इकोनॉमिस स्टार्टेड सेम दैट इंडिया इज रीचिंग टूवर्ड्स द स्टेज ऑफ स्टैग फ्लेशन Now the question is: Is India heading towards stagflation? Is India heading towards stagflation? Because you might have seen the GDP numbers, and those numbers were recently criticised because the GDP numbers are going down. At the same point of time, the unemployment rate is one of the highest. the inflation numbers are also increasing so in this situation whether it would be right to call that india is heading towards stagflation now let me introduce you one thing the point is stagflation is very dangerous for the economy and if indian economy is going to suffer this problem then certainly more problems are going to develop for the common persons in the society so that is why it is very important and pertinent that we need to understand that whether india is heading towards stagflation and in the discussion we will also try to find out the relevant areas from where the upsc can ask the questions particularly from prelims and mains perspective so i will start the discussion with what is stagflation what is stagflation next why there is a risk of stagflation why there is a risk of stagflation and the next would be relevant areas relevant questions that can be asked in upsc particularly from prelims and mains perspective these are the areas that we are going to discuss today so let's start with the stagflation Now this is stagflation. The word is stagflation. The word is stagflation is made up of two words: stagnation, stagnation, and inflation. This is stagflation. Word is made up of two words: stagnation and inflation. A stagnation has two components. growth and unemployment growth and unemployment now these are the areas of macroeconomics these are the areas of macro economics where a relevant question can be where a relevant question can be critically discuss the intricate relation between growth and employment growth and employment this can be one upsc mains question why i am saying this thing because in this year there was the question about growth and inflation In 2019 mains question paper they have asked the relation between growth and inflation now they can future ask the question about growth and employment especially indian economy is also called as jobless growth jobless growth that means there are jobs 
there are jobs which are suboptimal or the growth is not able to create enough number of jobs that is called as job less growth so if the growth numbers are low unemployment numbers are high and inflation is high if the growth numbers are low unemployment numbers are high and also the inflation is high this can create a problem of stagflation this can create a problem of stagflation now why the economists are saying that indian economy is heading towards stagflation because if you see the growth numbers india's gdp number is continuously decreasing in 2019 and 20 the assessment is the gdp will be around 5% in 2000 18 and 19 the gdp was around 6.7% in 2017 and 18 the gdp was around 7.3% and 2016 and 17 it was 8.2% that means continuously the gdp numbers are decreasing in the indian economy now the gdp numbers are decreasing at the same point of time if you see the nsso data national sample survey organization data it says that the unemployment rate it says that the unemployment rate is 45 year high 45 year high that means this year the unemployment rate has broken the peak point of 45 year that means unemployment rate has increased to the peak and this is close to 6.1% which is highest In 2018 and 19, this data is of 2018 and 19 of labor force assessment survey. At the same point of time, if you see the inflation numbers, if you see the inflation numbers, inflation is also continuously increasing. In December 2019, 2019 inflation number was around 7.5, and there has been five consecutive months. five consecutive months when the inflation numbers are increasing before that the inflation was around 5.7% now the inflation numbers are increasing very fast now these numbers i am giving is of cpi consumer price index and particularly if you talk about cpi the primary or food and beverages the price of food and beverages are increasing there are various components in consumer price index one is food and beverages another is tobacco pan masala gutka the third one is fuel and light the fourth one is housing then clothing and footwear and the miscellaneous now in food and beverages we have seen that the price of vegetables as well as fruits and pulses these are the few areas where the inflation is highest now if you cumulatively see this picture gdp numbers are decreasing gdp numbers are low when you see the inflation numbers continuously the inflation is increasing inflation numbers are high unemployment number is also high this can create a situation of a stagflation stagflation so the economist which are saying that indian economy is entering a stagflation they may not be 100% wrong but the assessment should not be based on few months my point of discussion is is really india is in stagflation i may say that india may enter stagflation but india has not entered stagflation that means india is standing at the gate of stagflation if the policy and the corrective measures are not taken then we can assume that india may enter stagflation also because the gdp numbers are low unemployment numbers are high there is also high inflation numbers and recently you might have experienced the price of onions yes and especially in the background when there is a oil impending oil crisis impending oil crisis impending oil crisis in iran and saudi arabia middle east is going to be more unstable further it is going to create more and more inflation 
in Jan 2020, it is expected that the inflation number will be around 5.5 to 5.6 percent without taking into consideration the coming oil crisis because the oil price will increase if the Middle East is moving towards instability or instability. So that is why India needs some corrective actions to really solve this problem. Okay. Now again, what should be done and what the questions can be asked? This point also needs to be discussed. Now, as I said that India has not entered stagflation, India may enter stagflation. So it would be wrong to say that India is in the stage of stagflation. However, the corrective measures are required. Now, what could be the corrective measures and what could be suggested in this background? And also the question that can be asked. Yes, so I will first frame the questions, expected questions. Two sections, prelims and mains. In prelims, what can be asked related to inflation? A question can be framed regarding inflation. The concept of inflation is extremely important. Stagflation. Phillips curve is important, which shows the relationship between Inflation and unemployment, Phillips curve. In prelims, the labor force assessment, labor force, employment survey or assessment survey conducted by NSSO is important. Yes. And what more can be expected in this UPSC examination? Something more about the core of inflation, that means the types of inflation, the causes of inflation, the reasons for rising inflation numbers in India, what are the various statutes or institutions which are responsible for inflation control, what is inflation targeting, what is inflation targeting, this talks about a you know, band of inflation, CPI number 2. It talks about 4 plus minus 2 percent should be the limit of inflation considering the situation of Indian economy. When you talk about the mains, what is the stagflation? Again, they can ask about the definition. Is India at the verge of stagflation? Yes, or they can ask the questions about solution particularly with the stagflation. Now what could be the solution? Now if you remember the GDP formula, GDP is equal to C plus I plus G plus X minus M where C is the consumption, I is investment, G means government expenditure, X means import and M means import. Now GDP is the cumulative sum of all these numbers. So what could be done? The government should try to increase consumption by increasing the MSP price, by reducing the income tax, Reducing personal income tax. Now recently the government reduced the corporate tax. Now the corporates are very small sections of the society. Now the complete Indian economy is facing crisis now. So you need to reinitiate the consumption of the complete population. Now the complete population resides in rural area or the common man. So they could be affected by these two initiatives. When rega wages can also be one option. When you talk about investment, India to talk about Promoting ease of doing business. Recently, India jumped to 63rd rank in ease of doing business ranking. So it is expected that with more reforms, particularly the labor reforms, the government is talking about four courts. It is expected that we can solve the problem. Again, the government, when the economy is in crisis, it is expected that the investment which is being done by the private sector will suffer. So government should take the responsibility here. Government should increase the expenditure. Recently the government talked about national investment pipeline project where the government talks about injecting trillions of dollars. 
Now the government should be very clear here that in which areas the government is going to do more and more expenditure. Now the expenditure area should also touch the common sections of the society. So in my opinion the government should start investing in the areas like road because that is going to create more and more employment and at the same time government should create more and more infrastructure like health institutions and colleges, universities in spite of only any giving benefit to the corporates. Are you talking about exports and import? Imports will have to do this thing because crude oil is imported from outside. Exports need to be promoted by the policies that is called as Make in India. Make in India. So the final assessment while the closing remark, in the remarks I can say that India has not entered stagflation. India is on the verge of stagflation. There are some relevant policies that can be taken here. These policies are expected that in the coming budget government is going to announce the policies also. At the same point of time, stagflation kind of condition is very complex. So only reducing GDP because India is not in a state of crisis. India is in the state of slowdown. It's not recession. Still India is growing, one of the fastest growing economy. So India may enter and the slowdown situation is normal for any economy. We should take the relevant measures so that this slowdown may not be converted into recession. Now that's all for today. I hope you might have got something. I'm really sorry I was not able to make video for the long gap. Now I decided that I will make some video almost every week. Let's see how much I would be successful. So that's all for today. Thank you so much. All the best.